guys, just wanted to jump in real quick to tell you that we are doing our annual Christmas pre-order. We're going to have two soap bundles available, one with all of our frosted tops and one with all of our artisan soaps. And for anyone who pre-orders the bundle, you will be getting our wintry December sticker with it for free. We like to do this every year for those of y'all who are concerned that you won't be able to get all the soap goodies that you want since we have had a problem with selling out in the past. And all of the pre-orders will be shipping at the same time as regular orders. So if you would like to pre-order a bundle and then just add on one or two items later during the December release, you can absolutely do that. We will combine those orders and refund fund you the excess shipping. So set your alarms for this Saturday at 3 p.m. for that pre-order and uh, we'll continue on with our video. Well, hello everyone. Welcome back to Royalty Soaps. My name is Katie Carson. I am... Uh, what am I? Well, I'm a lady that makes soap, but sometimes they call me the Duchess of Suns. <laughs> Today's video is going to be really fun because I'm going to be crafting some custom bath and body products based on what my personal autumnal skincare needs are. But I will be using the Cindapore base to help me do this. And if you haven't seen this video, it was my first introduction, unboxing, and experimenting with Cindapore by Stevenson. That was not an ad or anything because I hadn't tried it, had to make sure that I liked it, and now that I know for sure that I do, this video is sponsored by Stevenson. They are an incredible company. They make all of the best known bath and body care bases on the market, including my favorite low sweat melt and pours. We get it in both white and in clear. They're also very well known for their photos foaming bath butter. And they're basically just leading the industry when it comes to innovations and breakthroughs in the bath and body base market. This autumn, my skin has been a lot more dry than usual. I also wanted a cleansing and exfoliating bar. So something that would actually clean my arms and legs, but also have a bit of exfoliating properties in there. So I thought, why not just make one? And then I re really wanted a pumpkin spice, pumpkin scented, pumpkin something shampoo bar. So I thought, why not just make one? And I'll make three different recipes for you guys today. And then you can make them and use the recipes if you are interested or so inclined. So the Cinepore 200 base is a synthetic detergent base, i.e. it is soap free and it is pH balanced to accommodate hair and face skin. Cold process soap is not pH neutral. It is slightly alkali. So this is a lot more balanced for those more sensitive skin areas and your scalp and for your hair. And not only is it pH neutral and soap free, it is also vegan. It has been dermatologically tested. And because it's already formulated so well to include all of these things, just like their other melt and pour based or foaming bath butters, you don't really need to add anything to it. It's kind of a complete product in and of itself. However, you can add up to 2% fragrance and you can also add up to 1% of other oils and butters, but be forewarned, those may decrease the lather slightly. Basically, that means that I'm going to get my cleansing exfoliating bar, my shampoo bar, and my face care bar with very little effort, which is what we like. It also means that you guys at home can do this with relative ease. There are a lot of suppliers here in the United States and around the world that carry this base, and we're gonna have a lot of fun crafting today. And of course, you can always just use these recipes as a guideline for your own personal crafting because different oils, different fragrances, and different colors will of course bring something different to your final product. So without Without further ado, we will begin. We will start by making a pumpkin shampoo, then we will make a coffee body scrub, and then we will make our facial bar. 
Let's talk supplies. What are we going to need for these three projects? Well, we're going to need a super, super, super precise scale. This is the AWS 100 scale, and it is a little stained, and you can see it has clearly been well used. I use this every single time I make soap to measure out my micas in grams. You will also need some sort of a container to heat in the microwave or on the stovetop in a double boiler, depending on how big your batch is. I'm going to be using this silicone one that can hold up to eight ounces. You're gonna need something to stir with. I have this little glass wand because it's aesthetic. And then the fragrance I'm gonna be using is Pumpkin Caramel Crunch from Candle Science. This is the epitome of autumn baking. It literally smells just like a pumpkin roll. And then for my color, I'm going to be using some Tequila Sunrise from Mad Micas. A little bit goes a long way. If this is the only project you're making, you honestly could just get a sample from them because you just don't even need this much. And then the mold that I'm using is just this silicone baking mold from Amazon. I thought the pumpkins and leaves looked really cute and festive. And of course, you will need some Cindapore base. I'm gonna put on some gloves so that I don't get my hands all nasty and don't contaminate the product. I'm also putting out a disclaimer that these instructional tutorials are for creating these products for personal use. If you're creating these projects, not just for home use, but also for sale, please look up your cosmetic rules and regulations for manufacturing and shipping. It's gonna be a lot more stringent than what I'm doing in this video. I'm following my regular safety procedures, but manufacturing cosmetics is its own different beast and you definitely need to be apprised of what you're getting into before you start selling. This soap base, this base cuts like butter. It is so so easy. We've all had that awful experience with trying to gouge a melt and pour brick. You're not going to have that problem with this base. Just going to measure out 100 grams off to the side here. Here we go, roughly 100 grams. I'm going to ignore these two numbers. <laughs> now it's time to measure out my colorant. I was aiming for three quarters of a gram, but I ended up with 0.76, so that'll have to do. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm going to measure in two grams of our fragrance oil. I can't make up its mind whether I got exactly two grams or 2.01, so I'm not going to stress it. <laughs> Now I'm going to pop this into the microwave for about 30 seconds until most all of it is completely melted. If you see a few tiny bits on the top, you don't have to worry about that because it will melt. All right, everything is all melted down now. So let's add our color and our fragrance. Ugh, oh, so pretty. And sometimes when I have containers like this that are really, really hard to get all the color out of, I'll pour a little bit of my mixture into the cup, swirl it around, and then pour it back in. All right, looks really good. And I have mixed it for about a minute to make sure that everything is super good and incorporated. And now to pour into my mold, I'm going to split this between two different pumpkins because I want a bar, but I know my kids are gonna want a bar too. Cool beans. When was the last time you heard that said? I bet not recently. <laughs> <laughs> cool beans. Cool beans. I'm gonna just spritz the top with a little bit of rubbing alcohol to pop the air bubbles, and then I will let this sit for probably two hours before unmolding. Okay guys, so let's talk about making our coffee exfoliating cleansing bar. As you can see, I have already measured out my 100 grams of Cindapore and put it into the microwave and melted it down. I even used the same container I used for the pumpkin one because we were putting the exact same thing in. And we're adding a brown colorant, so you won't see that orange at all. For the fragrance, I'm going to add two grams of cafe latte. This is one of the best fragrances for a coffee scent I've ever smelled. It's from Brambleberry. <laughs> when you're measuring in grams, every single drop counts. <laughs> 
take literally every drop. $1.99, close enough. I'm also going to add in some coffee extract. This is also from Brambleberry. And because this is an oil additive, it's an extract suspended in fractionated coconut oil. I am just adding one gram. In a second container, I'm going to measure out my coffee grounds. These are from Brambleberry. And I want mine to be really scrubby, so I'm adding eight grams, but if you don't want yours to be as scrubby, then just use less. I'm also adding in some of Mad Mica's dark brown mica. You can see how pretty it is. The name of it is questionable and not something that I say on this uh, children-friendly channel. How about good-looking strangers on the train? <laughs> I'm just adding about half a gram of this colorant. And now for the fun part, getting to mix it all up. Mixy, mixy. This product that I'm making here was actually inspired by the Frank Bod coffee scrub. I absolutely love using that scrub on my legs once or twice a week. And I thought, wouldn't it be nice to add a cleanser in with some coffee grounds so that I can uh, save a step? I think so. Now that everything is all mixed up, we can pour into our mold here. This one that I'm using is from Brambleberry. I just like the shape of this for a scrub. Perfect. Doesn't appear to have any bubbles on top, so I'm just gonna leave this as is for about two hours. And in the meantime, let's go mix up our facial cleanser. For the facial cleanser, I changed my container to something clean and sanitized because I do want this particular product to be fragrance free. I also switched out my stirring utensil and the only thing I am adding is one gram of rosehip seed oil. Rosehip seed oil is so beneficial for your skin. So I'm just going to pour that straight in and mix it really, really, really well. I will probably mix this for about a minute and a half before pouring. And now I will just pour it right into this mold. And this little square mold from Brambleberry holds 100 grams perfectly. Go ahead and spritz this and then we will let all of our products set up for two hours or so. It took me less than 30 30 minutes to whip up these three individual products from start to finish. So they are extremely efficient products to make. And again, you can kind of customize them to be whatever you like because Cindapore is so versatile in that way. Okay, so this has been sitting for about three hours at this point, and you can see they unmold so easily. Look how cute our little pumpkin is. Y'all, please give me a break. How cute! Now let's get our little body scrubbing bar out. Ugh. It smells fantastic. And we can get our facial bar out. Now, if you ever have a problem getting your Cindapore bars out of your silicone mold, you can pop them into the freezer for like 10 minutes and they'll unmold really cleanly. But those Brambleberry molds, they do pretty good. You can see that this came out no problem at all. And because there's no caustics, they're ready to use right away. These three projects were so, so quick and easy to make. I mean, three projects, less than 30 minutes, <gasps> say less. I am gonna stack these right up and take them into the shower with me tonight. Gonna wash my face, wash my hair, scrubby scrub my legs. I mean, it's the perfect little combo and it's so easy to customize. Thank you, Stevenson, for sponsoring today's video. Like I told you guys before, Stevenson just has the best bases for all of your bath and body products. We love their melt and pour. I've been using them for years and they are readily available at so many suppliers in the US and abroad. I will be leaving a quick list of some of my favorite suppliers down below so that you can go get your Cindapore 200 or any of the other lovely bases that they have available. If you guys enjoyed this video and kind of liked seeing me do like some quick DIYs, that would be super easy for 
you all to do at home. Let me know down in the comments below because this was really fun and we could do it for melt and pour soap, we could do it for lotions, we could do it for some sugar scrubs. There's so many options available. Be sure you do something fun for yourself today like going on a little walk with your family. I have really enjoyed doing that recently because the Texas weather is finally getting a little cooler. There's some nice wind, some leaves rustling. It's a vibe. But you know, I don't really care what you do. Just be sure you do something for you and I will see you all in next week's video. So until then, bye for now. Meow.